And looking back at the only other tournament which Gareth Southgate has overseen as England manager, and looking at the teams, England were expected to beat Panama. England were expected to beat Colombia. That one went all the way to penalties. They were expected, sorry, Anders, to beat Sweden mm. in the quarterfinals. Croatia, possibly, you cut, you, it was a bit 50-50. They weren't expected to beat Belgium, and they didn't do it. They lost in the group stage and in the third, fourth place playoff as well. But today, England beat Germany. And I know Germany are ranked 12th in the world, and England, I think, are fourth. But it's Germany. We know yeah. the hoodoo the Germans have over England. So do you think yeah. a huge statement was made tonight by Gareth Southgate about <clears throat> who they can face and how strong they actually are? Well, I said at the very start of the coverage of this Sweden-Ukraine game, because we had a little look quickly, didn't we, at the England-Germany game, I said I thought that it was a, a monumental day in a, in a couple of ways. One, because of the fact that uh, England have finally got the better of Germany um, on the football field. And the other one, because Harry Kane, who's had such a, a difficult tournament so far, has hardly featured, hadn't scored, also managed to score a goal. And, you know, once a striker starts to score a goal, they tend to come along in twos and threes and fours on a bit of a run. So, yeah, I think it's a, a huge occasion. And when you look back to Euro 96 in, in England, when, uh, you know, England lost on penalties to Germany and it was Gareth Southgate who missed the the crucial penalty for England, which meant that Germany went through. Um, you know, I, I think he's probably done quite a bit of good for Gareth Southgate today as well. Yeah, redemption for him. It's the first time in a knockout game that England had beaten Germany at a major tournament. Yes, they won. They beat Germany in Euro 2000, but that was a group stage game. In fact, England hadn't won a knockout game at the European Championships until today in 90 minutes. Such uh, a, a strange fact. I couldn't quite believe it myself, but there it is. Anders, got to ask you, because Gary might be a bit biased considering he's worn the jersey of the Three Lions. So you, I, I'll get your answer in a bit, Gary. But Anders, you have no skin in the mm. game anymore. Who are your favourites? Based on the tree, the, based on who could yeah. face who? Yeah, before the European Championship, I, ha I have uh, still have Belgium and England in the final because I'm going to put the pressure on England now because they, they have all everything laid up for them now. Playing Ukraine, they should, be, uh, they should win. And then in the semi-final against Denmark and Czechoslovakia, they definitely go to the final. Uh, and who they're going to face in the final, I think, is going to be Belgium. So uh, I think they have a strong team, young players, a strong setup. Everything is there so to reach the final. Yeah. Gary, bearing in mind that some of these games have really gone the distance, that the U Ukraine team today will be absolutely exhausted. England, it's four clean sheets for them. All the games settled in 90 minutes. And they yeah. haven't travelled, though. This will be their first game yeah. away from Wembley. Uh, the Swiss yeah. have travelled the most. They're probably going to be exhausted. So, Gary, does this mm. play into your hopes as an England fan? Well, I, I think the way the uh, the tournament has started now to develop, yes, you know, England have found themselves in the favourable side of the draw, definitely. Um, you know, on our chat group while the game was going on, I, I put a message on there saying that this is starting to look good for England. And at that stage, I didn't know whether it was going to be Sweden or Ukraine because we're now into extra time. There's players get picking up... Um, Injuries, um, you know, there, there was the, the red card, of course, that's irrelevant now because it's Ukraine has gone through and not Sweden. Um, so, yeah, I do feel that um, the flow is in the England direction at the moment. You know, I do feel that, yes, they can get through the quarterfinal. I, I think that they're, regardless of who they play in the semi, I think it's, it's more than feasible. So without getting too excited. But I think that the good thing is, and, you know, people were moaning that, oh, England aren't scoring goals. You know, in the, in the three games they played in their group stage, they only managed to score two goals. But, you know, a big part of winning a tournament is, number one, not getting beaten. Um, and that's how, in, how England have been. And today they scored two goals in a, in a game, which is the most they've scored in a game in this tournament. And, yeah, I, I can really feel some momentum starting to build. Yeah, perspective-wise, in terms of recovery, the distance covered for the tournament so far, Switzerland 
over 7,000 air miles, England zero. That's all going to be adding up, though, in the quarterfinals a bit more. Ukraine, up to the stage, have traveled about 3,757. So they're going to have more miles added because they have to travel to Rome.